Welcome back to Soma. We've just arrived at Theta, and we need to find the Dunbat, which is a vehicle that should allow us to enter the Abyss and find the Ark. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Okay, should be able to break the glass. There's a lot of distortion in my view for some reason. I wonder if that's like my, my body's uh, camera, my body's sensors malfunctioning or something. Look at that tower. Looks like steampunkish almost. Where's the ventilation? There's no holes. Squeeze me. Stress ball. What the heck is this thing? Oh, I think it's a pencil sharpener. I'm doing office work. Staple, staple. Staple, staple. Okay. My immersion. We're here? We're here! Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend, it's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself. Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah... Uh, Damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Oh, it's filled with growths. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. I'm gonna take the stress ball with me. I'm feeling kind of stressed.
Also, I just cut my face with glass. It's a good thing I'm a robot. I know I could have swiped my Omni tool there before. Oh. Look at the stress ball. It's a quantum stress ball. Bloop. Bloop. <gasps> Come back. There you are. This place looks deserted. So far. Oh. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Rest in peace, Ball. Theta is out of the picture, where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron? Well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. <gasps> he came back to me. Ooh. Squeeze the stress ball, squeeze the stress ball. the game's main menu. Doesn't it look like the game's main menu? Helped out with the Ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Even that has a hinge. Look at that. Beautiful. I was wondering if I'd find a mirror in here that wasn't broken. Well, as if there was any doubt, I am definitely a robot. I mean, that was pretty much certain. But, there you go.
handle doesn't seem to work. It's either stuck or there's just like no water. Jesus fucking Christ. Can I turn this damn thing off? I think I'm going to be running down these long hallways soon. What a skyscraper. Well, elevator's obviously out of order, so I gotta take the stairs, but what's this way first? This thing's handmade. Oh, crew quarters. There, light switch. This guy's got power tools in his room. Like a paint gun, a cutting wheel, or whatever that's called. Mazer tool safety. Hmm. I might need that for something. Might have to come back to that. Might have to do some rewiring or something. Big book of science, I guess. That is a fat book. I didn't expect my character to throw that so violently. <laughs> These bottles break really easily. <laughs> I love the sounds though, they're so good. Yeah. 
Hmm. One of the lights just burn out? I think so. Most of these are locked. Catherine. Catherine's place. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Journal. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly, clearly corrupted by... Should I just call it the WoW? I'll just call it the WoW. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way. Like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed, and was quickly terminated. That scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction, except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from modeled neurographs. The Vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content, from the originating brain scan Reed emerged. The Reed inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. Wait a minute, I need to reread that, this is really important. Okay, so this is the machine that they just tested. It was corrupted, and is assembled in a primitive way. It mimicked. And then at some point, Reed was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside. And after dissecting it, the well copied the project, the project that Catherine was doing to scan everybody, copied the capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. And her capsule houses flat people. What does that mean, flat people? Constructed from model neurographs. The Varian's brain scan lives on. Hmm. It was a perfect copy. So it sounds like uh, Catherine's project doesn't make perfect copies of people. But that the machine did make a perfect copy of Reed. That's what it sounds like. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They're already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. Oh, okay. No, so... Wait. I'm confused. What was the capsule project? Was the capsule project like an early version of the Ark, sort of? Because it sounds like in the end she did end up using their technique of scanning, which makes a perfect copy. But in the beginning, she was not able to make perfect copies. She was only able to make flat people made from model neurographs? I don't know what that means. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. Wow, so the WoW is playing a big part in everything. It sounds like it's the WoW that kind of started all of this. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Serang killed himself after his scan. 
He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves, as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. AR capsule. That'd be... Artificial reality capsule? What she was working on before she started scanning people? Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. Unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulences makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed. Didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She's too real. Hmm. Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. <laughs> what are these? Stopsel original. <gasps> the scissors. Beautiful hinge scissors. I'm gonna cut your strings. Snip, snip, snip. Seriously, that's actually kind of creepy. That's actually really creepy. Being controlled by strings, merely a puppet. Like, perhaps, me. You have a lot of toys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, she does! Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Oh no, don't fall over. Uh, uh, Alright, right, just fall over. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... Yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's... It, it, it's a long story. Forget it. Oh, are these the dissected parts from the vivarium? Hidden Zock, come here. Serang. That's the one who killed himself, right? After being scanned? Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. 
When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. So that's what he meant by continuity. And why you have to kill yourself right after or very, very shortly after being scanned. So that you don't diverge too much. So that your consciousness is continuous. That's... I don't know, that idea that you're not, your consciousness isn't... Like, it's, it's not... Your consciousness is not your brain, it's the... I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but like, the idea that basically you're not you, like, location doesn't matter is basically what he's saying. Right, you will continue to live on no matter where your other consciousness is, so long as you're the same, as if... Almost as if... It's almost as if he's talking about a soul. As if there's some... As if the consciousness is something like a soul, separate from your body. I'm not convinced. I'm not at all convinced, but... It does make me uncomfortable to think about. Which I think is the point. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same, and join me inside the Ark. <laughs> he did die. I don't mean Mark, I mean I died. Remember my idea about what if... Um, what if, because of your brain injury, you died after the scan, right? You had been scanned in Toronto. You had the neurograph done, and then later you died, and now you wake up here. Well, it sounds like, given that it, it was continuous consciousness, given that I went in for the scan and then continuously just, like, right afterwards, with no delay, woke up, the consciousness was continuous. Which means, he didn't die a day after, or a week after. He died as the scan was being completed. He died. He died in that chair. Huh. Or... Is it possible he didn't die? Maybe... Maybe Mark Sering's idea about continuous consciousness is is not true. Maybe you don't have to die. Maybe there can be two of you and they can continue on. But then... Oh, I don't know. What the heck is that? Confidential. What is that? Some gigantic ball thing.
Blacked out, blacked out, blacked out. Something event C. List code number one. Looks like 278 is circled. 278 or 218, I'm not sure which. Might be important. Gonna write those down, there we go. March 7th, 20, 2102, to Mark Sarang. Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is, and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha, without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Supervisor, Supervisory Board. Okay, so the WoW is under control, or at least supposed to be under control, from Johan Ross from Alpha. Forcefully eliminate any opposition. That sounds... murderous. The nature of identity. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you? All very difficult ideas to approach without having your question be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritually minded. In this book, Avlina Martinu, professor of philosophy at the Charles University in Prague, guides you through the history of great thinkers and what they have to say about identity. I keep thinking I'm going to find something under somebody's pillow, but it's never happened yet. UH-8? That's one of the... one of the robots. Equations. Let's see, what did he mark on the board? It shows something radiating out of theta and out of phi. Radiating out of theta, traveling to lambda, also traveling to epsilon. Oh, <laughs> that's the bottle that I threw. Light doesn't work. I'm not touching that thing. Oh. 
Did he kill himself in his bed? Oh shit. He did. Fuck, I think he cut both his wrists or something. That's a lot of blood. dying anyway. I'm all in. Put my faith in Serang and the continuity. Giddy get. That's a pretty get. That's the simulated world, isn't it? He's imagining him and his whole family. Or just the rest of the crew. In the Ark. What's that thing? That didn't look like a robot. It looked like a human or a humanoid. Going down or up. Okay, in that case, where can I go? Can't take the elevator, can't take the stairs. This just ends in a dead end. Right, I didn't miss any doors. Oh, don't tell me I need to touch that thing. Do I? Uh, I'm going to touch it and see what happens. Uh. What the hell are you doing? I know it looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. This is like a drug for me. But every time I do that, the wow must be taking more and more of me, right? Maybe it's making copies of me. But that, yeah, it didn't... It seems like that's not something I actually needed to do, though. So... I think I'll avoid that in the future. So where in the heck am I supposed to go? Locked, nothing, nothing, nothing. This way? Oh, I never went up here. Oh. 
one of those Neurograph scan chairs. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Deactivated, thankfully. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! So close. Stormwire's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. That's what the Mazer tool was for that I saw the diagram for. I was to kill himself after the scan. <laughs> Troubleshoot, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna work. Unable to connect to mainframe, please reset router in the sublevel vault or contact maintenance. Oh, that's actually helpful. Sublevel vault, gotcha. Yeah, so this is what she's saying about the pilot seat being multi-purpose. The pilot seat can be used for more than just scanning your brain. Or, I mean, more than just controlling the robot, it can also be used for scanning your brain. Or at least can easily be adapted for it. I can't remember if she had to make any adaptations. I think she did. But yeah, I guess it's like a really good, a really good place to, to start. It's already got everything in place to do the scans. I think she just had to tweak it a bit. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Legacy scans. Whoa, wait. Munchie? Munchie? The doctor that scanned me back at the beginning in Toronto? Uh, but let's read that last. Anatomy composition. Impressed. Blah blah blah. Neurograph. Continuous time 20 milliseconds. Mm. Nothing interesting. Canadian. Author. David Munchie. Wait, let's go back. Yeah, this one was not scanned by David Munchie, but this person was. Paul Berg. That was... Paul Berg. Um, wasn't that Munchie's partner? In the scans? Like, partner on the, on the project? And Jarrett? Well, that's me. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Holy shit. Was I kind of right? When I said what I said before about... He was scanned, they had a perfect copy of his brain. And then sometime after the scan, he died. And they had his scan and they used it for... They put it into a robot body for some reason? I mean, some of the specific details, I guess, weren't right. Because I was thinking he died maybe like weeks after or something like that, but he apparently died during or like right after the scan. But holy shit, was I actually right? I, I think maybe I was. I feel kind of clever. Captured May 2nd, 2015. Erase data, whoa, no. 
audio recordings. Post scan. After the scan? Okay, that's gonna be important. Roadmap, last recording. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. This freaky, so many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Wait, if that was the post scan, then he didn't he didn't die right after? We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. He didn't die right away. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Jesus. Well, I think my original idea was, I guess, more correct than the new one that I thought was correct. He didn't die right away. Yeah, he died at some point. The, uh... The model, the roadmap that they made for him, I guess, didn't work very well. He ended up dying. Although I guess he knew it was coming. Sounds like, yeah, he obviously knows his death is coming. So he didn't just suddenly have a heart attack one day or a seizure or something like that and die, but... He was about to die. And... Munchie said, hey, can I keep your... My perfect copy of your brain and use it for something in the future. And he did. I guess it was sent to this project when they started doing research on intelligence and stuff like that. But that means this isn't continuous consciousness. He did not die right after the scan. Which means for a while... Well, wait a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it isn't continuous consciousness. But at the same time, his consciousness wasn't used for like a hundred years. So even though there was a perfect copy of him, those perfect copies didn't they, they weren't, like, running at the same time, you know? They weren't being simulated, I think? They were just pure data? So I don't think there were ever two of them at the same time. There was a hundred years between their consciousnesses. Definitely not continuous, but... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it doesn't quite mesh for me. Like, I don't quite get it. It's not really continuous consciousness, but at the same time, it's not that two copies of them existed at the same time, either. Well, I mean, the copies did exist, but they weren't running, so... The consciousnesses were not active at the same time. But again, it's not continuous. It's not at all continuous. Hmm. Well, I'm certainly not gonna erase the data. Shit, maybe I should. If I erase the data, is there a chance that maybe... Maybe nobody can make any more copies of me? Would that be a good thing? I'd... No. No. Let's 
so I can erase everybody's data. I'm not gonna do that. Just checking to see if there's any audio recordings. Nope. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. God, the story's so fascinating. And I'm really intrigued, again, because the things that I thought might be revealed at the end of the game are actually coming, from what I can tell, long before the end. Which means there must be so much more to the story. I thought this sort of stuff would be talked about and kind of revealed in some big climax, but no, it's already coming, which means there has to be more. Alright, well, I'm gonna think about the things I just heard and read some more and end the episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.